there is a voice calling out there. My beloved, do you trust me? Becoming his beloved is accepting an invitation of loveliness. Because there is a voice calling out there. Can you hear it? It's calling you by name. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1. The voice is calling, inviting you to flourish and to bloom. Quote, if a flower can flourish in the desert, you can flourish anywhere. By Mashona Diliwayo. Desert place is an escape where an exchange takes place, where beauty is given instead of ashes. Isaiah 61, chapter 61, verse 3. Oh, the desert, a place where adversities are transformed into strength and resilience. It's about becoming a beautiful flower that grows and blooms in the desert, despite having to endure difficult weather conditions, only to bloom brightly and colorfully, bringing color to a region surrounded by burning sand, little water, plants and vegetation. There is an oasis that awaits you. Prepare to give you an experience of an in of <laughs> intimacy, of silence, and peace. Welcome, my beloved. I've been waiting for you. Oh, how beautiful you are. Oh, how beautiful. Song of Songs, chapter 1, verse 15. Come. Have a seat. I've prepared an oasis for you, a resting place. Come with me privately to a solitary place and let us rest for a while. Mark chapter 6, verse 31, BSB version. I've prepared a table for you. Go, eat your food with gladness and drink your wine with a joyful heart. For God has already approved of what you do. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 7. My beloved, your cheeks are beautiful with earrings, your neck with strings of jewels. We will make you earrings of gold studded with silver. Song of Solomon chapter 1 verses 10 through 11. My beloved, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, the ESV version. I want to give you flowers in place of sorrow, olive oil in place of tears, and a joyous praise in place of a broken heart. You will be called trees of justice, planted by me, your heavenly Father, in my honor. Isaiah 61, verse 3, CEV version. My beloved, you will be like a tree planted by the streams of water, yielding its fruit in its season, and whose leaves do not wither. Whatever you do prospers. Psalm chapter 1, verse 3. The NIV version. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Revelation chapter 22, verse 13. The desert, though it is large and dry, with burning sand and desolate of trees and shade, it is there you will see the heavens open up, the sun comes up, and a light will shine. It is in these moments that you will lose yourself only to find yourself. The voice continues. The Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Jeremiah 31 Verse 3, the ESV version. 
My beloved, you are more precious than rubies. Proverbs 31 says, I will clothe you with strength and dignity. You can laugh at the days to come. Proverbs 31 verse 25. Again, I tell you, you will be like a tree planted by the streams of water, yielding its fruit in a season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever you do prospers. Psalms chapter 1 verse 3, the NIV version. Beloved, are you comfortable? I have one last thing to share with you. I am making old things new. If anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone and the new is here. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Before we say goodbye, listen to me. Forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert, be present. I'm about to do something brand new and it's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert, rivers in the badlands. Wild animals will say, thank you. The coyotes and the buzzards because I've provided water in the desert, rivers to the sun-baked earth, Drinking water for the people I chose, the people I made especially for myself, a people custom made to praise me. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, the message version. My beautiful friends, thank you so much for visiting with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video and the Oasis because I truly enjoyed creating it. And um, I'll be working on a video showing you how I use a lot of the um, pieces used in creating the Oasis came from... Well, guys, I have an addiction. I absolutely love the thrill of the hunt. I love shopping for housewares, home decorating pieces, and just to see what I can find. And I always get myself into trouble. And, um, but lastly, the main important thing, as a gardener myself, I pray that this video planted seeds of love into your life, beauty into your life, rest, hope, and understanding. Seeds of reminding you to flourish because God did create you to bloom beautifully and you are all beautiful women and God is planting us and creating a garden and planting us in it <laughs> if that even made sense it did make sense but I don't know if it sounded right but anyway that's it ladies if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up take a moment and like the video and I thank you so very much. And I appreciate love and appreciate each and every one of you. God bless you and your families. All right. Have a great sunshiny day. Beautiful day. This is Simply Nini. And oh, I almost forgot. If you enjoy the video, I hope you consider subscribing. Thank you.